Hey guys, welcome to my channel. I'm Janari Balaji and you're watching Beauty Bonkers. So if you're new here, please take a moment and subscribe to my channel. If you are already subscribed, thank you so much. And I hope you're enjoying my videos. So uh, today we're going to be talking about some uh, products that I really, really, really adore and love. And they happen to be products that are suitable for us chocolate skin tone, brown skin tone girls. So NC40, NC42, if you're of that shade in MAC or like if you're similar to my skin tone and if you want to discover some new affordable and some high-end products then please keep on watching. All of this is makeup. I hope you're excited. Let's get into the video. Okay, let's start with a base product first that I've been currently loving so, so, so much. It's from the higher end, but I'm telling you it's so worth it if you buy it on a sale or something. And I recently did a video comparing this uh, to another drugstore brand corrector. Uh, so I'm talking about this Bobbi Brown corrector that I've been loving and I use the shade Dark Peach. Oh my God, they have like 11 or 12 shades and this is how the shade dark peach looks like they have something called deep peach as well i guess i'm not too sure but uh, this shade is so perfect for me to color correct and also conceal in some ways sometimes i just use this product underneath my eyes and around my mouth and just have some powder uh, to set it and my entire face and i can just walk out of the door it's it's so good it conceals and corrects at the same time um so it, this is such a versatile product this is also like the texture is very very smooth if you need details more details on this product you can check out that video where i have compared the bobby brown corrector with the flower beauty corrector but this is such an amazing product and for us brown skin tone girls especially uh orange can be a little too much for us and very very light salmon color shades can be really really light that it won't even do anything for us uh this sort of a peach deep peach color is perfect for us uh, like nc 40 42 rather than a deep orange red or a light salmon so this is such a great color and the formulation the texture everything is so good it's very very moisturizing it's not like drying or cakey underneath the eye so this is such an awesome product if you can get your hands on it do get it it's such a great product let's get some face products out of the way i have a bronzer to talk about this is such a popular bronzer everybody loves it and there's a reason why everybody love it uh this is the Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer and this shade in particular is called Deep Bronzer and this is so perfect. It's, it's such a nice neutral tone if you can see. It's not too too pigmented that you know you can ruin your look um, and you can just mess up. Uh, this is such a forgiving bronzer. The pigmentation is very nice and subtle. The color is nice and neutral, not too warm, not too red. Um, the color is so nice you guys. It's such a beautiful color and the formula is so good it's the bronzer th that I'm currently wearing on my cheek you'll see a demo on it and uh, this blends beautifully it's very forgiving so I really like and recommend this bronzer especially for us uh, brown skin tone girls uh, you get bronzers that are either too red deep and stuff like that you don't get like a perfect neutral tone bronzer which I am into if you're into warm tone bronzers um like there are tons of that in the market but finding a neutral tone bronzer if you're that kind of a person you like a neutral tone in your bronzer then i think you can get this this will last you for so long and this is such a great product i really really like this and this smells great i i i think you're sick and tired of hearing people uh t on internet telling that this bronzer smells so great but it actually does let's talk about a blush that's very very uh nice on brown skin tone and also is very very affordable i'm talking about the wet and wild blush in the shade mellow wine this is the newer packaging they used to have like this rectangle type packaging that i used to own i feel like the formulation on those were a little bit better this is nice the pigmentation is nice but if you can see it's a little powdery i'm not sure if you can see i just used it today it's a little powdery but the tone on this uh, blush is so great it's very very pigmented that's kind of like a little bit of a problem but for the price I can forgive that I can use a light hand with it and wearing the blush on my cheeks it's very nice uh, neutral rosy uh, tone uh, that will suit 
you know deeper skin tone really really well it's very nice and subtle it's kind of like a rosy neutral tone and uh, this is such a great blush it's very very affordable i got it on a discount on top of that so such a great one i have an amazing highlighter this is high end it's what i'm wearing on my cheeks right now it's from the brand mac uh the mac cosmetics extra dimension skin finish highlighter this particular shade is the shade whisper of guilt believe it or not i got this as a free gift when i did some mac purchases on nika uh quite some time back and uh this highlighter this formula especially is so so smooth it's very very smooth and it 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 looks so nice it's not glittery but it's like this smooth um you know glowy glow from within sort of a highlighter you can make it you know way too glowy or you can make it subtle also uh, so this is that sort of highlighter and the reason why this is awesome for us uh, nc40 42 girls is that um the tone if you see it's not a stark gold like the maybelline master chrome in molten gold i am not a very big fan of that particular shade for my particular skin tone uh, that's too gold for me and you have the champagne uh, colors that could be a little light for us um and obviously the pearl and these white gold colors they don't really work for us we do need a gold base but it shouldn't be a stark gold and it can't be champagne also this is right in between a gold and a champagne it's like this dull gold that does have a little bit of warmth that will complement our skin tone but not too warm that will be too stark on our skin tone you know uh, so that's something i really like about this highlighter whenever i'm getting ready for like a wedding function or a party and stuff like that I really like to use this highlighter and I trust this highlighter. I have even traveled with it. It's such a nice uh, packaging. It's very uh, you know good quality also. So I highly recommend this if you're brown skin tone. I have some products for eyes as well. Let's start with an eyeshadow palette that I'm currently wearing on my eyes. This is a drugstore Indian brand. Uh, this is from the brand Nykaa Cosmetics and This is the 10 pan eyeshadow palette that they offered. This is in the shade uh Smoky at 8. This shade in particular is amazing because it has all neutral tones and the tones are deep enough that it will show up on our brown NC4042 skin tone. Uh take a shot every time I say NC4042 and you'll be drunk by the end of the video. <laughs> so yeah, so this is such a great palette and it shows up on my skin tone. It has a black which kind of sometimes is important to me because sometimes I like to use um not use an eyeliner and use a black shadow in place of an eyeliner. So having a black in a palette is like very important to me. Uh so I really like this palette because the formulation is nice the pigmentation on these colors are amazing it has like really good pigmentation uh, it has shimmers it has a mix of mattes and shimmers some brown tones oranges uh, light peaches for transition so these have transition colors that actually show up on my skin tone uh, you know when i watch a tutorial on youtube and people say oh uh, i'm going to use this light beige shade as a transition but that that shade is lighter than my skin tone doesn't even show up uh but this one does the transition shades in here it's very very beautiful the pigmentation on these are amazing they blend so beautifully like you can see on my eyes i used this um shade this shade all over my lid it looks extremely gorgeous and vibrant and pigmented and it has blended so so beautifully it's like it, it's a very nice blended look right so really good you can go for this if you like pink tones you, i think they do have like a pink tone palette they also have some lighter tones palette if you're like uh you know slightly lighter than my skin tone you can do that as well they have like four options i guess and it's like 499 or 599 rupees such an amazing buy i like to travel with this also because it's like nice small and compact so you can also travel with this I really like this palette. Next, let's talk about some eyeliners. I'm going to skip mascara because um you know there are everybody knows that Maybelline makes good mascaras. Uh, there are mascaras from Essence that are great and most of them are really black and does show up on our skin tone. So, I'm going to skip mascaras. However, there are eyeliners that claim that they are black 
but in reality they are like just a deeper gray in my opinion and they are not like the pitch black that i want on my eyes however i found an eyeliner quite some time back i think i recommended this in my bridal makeup essentials video or something uh, this is by the brand Inglot. It's the AMC gel liner in the shade number 77. This is pitch black. If you can see my uh, liner today, I'm wearing this. It's a little bit tough for me personally to apply gel liners. In general, I'm bad at applying liners, uh, especially gel liner. Uh, but if you use like a very thin brush, I used one of the you know nail art brushes or something that's what i used today it took like about three to four minutes for me to apply this eyeliner but it's worth it 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 just looks so pitch black it's matte if you are a person who hates hates those glossy liners that gloss that you get on top of your eyelid i am one of those people i hate glossy eyeliners i want a matte jet black eyeliner this is the one you can go for this if you're comfortable with applying gel liners however if you're not comfortable with applying gel liners like me uh, and if you want to quickly go out of the door you're used to liquid liners which is what i am used to as well you can try the essence liquid ink eyeliner now this is just available only on mintra i guess i've never seen it on nika so you can find this on mintra i'm pretty sure i saw it uh, very recently also this is pitch pitch black the brush is also like super fine that you know it lets you apply that nice fine liner um jet black and if you're wearing shadows or something like that sometimes you know if you if you're wearing a glittery shadow this is shimmer but if you if you wearing glittery shadows it's kind of difficult to get like a nice thin line a crisp line uh, with a gel liner but with this liquid liner it's super super easy and concealing a lash band is also very very easy with these types of liners highly recommend this essence liner this is my third bottle i guess love it okay let's move on to lips everybody loves lipsticks even if you don't wear makeup lipstick is something that anybody likes to wear and uh I am currently into brown nude lipsticks. You can see that's how my lips look today. It's like a brown nice. I'm also into glosses these days. But a brown toned uh, neutral lipstick is what I'm into. And all of these lipsticks or lip products that I'm going to be mentioning are all brown tones. So let's start with two lip liners that I've been currently loving. I have talked about this lip liner. Like probably 10,000 times in my channel. This is the brand K Beauty and the shade is Fame. Everybody likes this lip liner, I guess. I've seen so many YouTubers talk about it and it is true. It's that good. It's like a nice, uh, not too creamy. It's like the right amount of glide that you can get in a lip liner. Also, it sets nicely so that, you know, it. a lip liner is supposed to, you know, have your lipstick in place within the lip line right it's not supposed to smudge so that's what this does it's creamy enough to apply it nicely smoothly on your lips at the same time it doesn't smudge or budge or move around nothing like that and the tone is so so perfect it's a very nice brown tone eye lens or swatches um it's a very nice deep brown lip liner so if you uh, already have this and if you're looking for a shade a little bit lighter than this uh, this is too dark for you uh, you can go for the nyx line loud lip liner which i'm currently wearing today it's a very nice uh, soft brown color for brown skin tone uh, by soft brown i do not mean like concealer lips um, it's not too too soft that it won't show up on our skin tone it's the perfect um, amount of depth and it's a little bit um, nice and warm and this is in the shade total baller such a beautiful uh, formula as well this is eight dollars i'm not sure if this has launched in india but if it has please go grab this particular shade called total baller so beautiful the packaging is also nice you do have to sharpen it but uh, yeah such a great uh, lip liner from nyx now coming to lipsticks i want to talk about the lip shade that i'm currently wearing underneath the gloss uh, i'll also talk about the gloss in a minute the lip shade is the mac uh, matte lipstick yeah matte lipstick in the shade taupe oh my god this is the perfect brown color perfect neutral brown color it's so so great it 
I don't know. I I am obsessed with this color. It's a very nice uh, brown shade, and I wore this for um, clean girl makeup look in one of my videos, and that's when I fell in love with this a lot, and I started wearing this a lot. It's a very beautiful color. It's a nice neutral brown. I'll obviously insert. Um, a clip of me uh, wearing the lipstick and on top of that i'm wearing this beautiful gloss from nyx is it's the uh, milky gloss and the shade is choco latte shake it's a very uh, cool tone brown this is not like a neutral brown or a warm brown it's definitely cool tone um this is so comfortable it smells so good uh, that kind of is uh, you know an additional feature that I like in my glasses weirdly. I'm pretty sure I'm not the only one. Uh, this is such a beautiful gloss. It's not sticky. It's not one of the sticky, gloppy, uh, heavy feeling glosses. It's very light on the lips. It's not sticky. I don't know how it's not sticky. It looks glossy and uh, it lasts pretty well. I've worn this on its own so many times. It's so, so beautiful, especially this shade, uh, Choco Latte Shake. You can wear it alone because it has nice amount of pigmentation and it will complement brown girls. So really like this. Now, uh, there is a lip shade that I always, always wear when I have no, absolutely no makeup on and i want my lips to look like you know my lips but better sort of a shade mlbb shade and this actually makes my lips look like you know it doesn't make people wonder if i'm wearing lipstick they uh, you know they can tell that oh this is her you know original lip color and it's like nice subtle pink you know that sort of a thing this is the miss claire um, soft matte lip cream in the shade 58 this is a very nice pinky neutral color that kind of looks you know like my lips somehow I, like even i forget sometimes that i'm wearing this because it looks like my lips a little bit i i do have some pigmentation like every other uh, indian brown girl uh, i do have some pigmentation on my upper lip this covers it beautifully and uh, you can't tell that i'm wearing a lipstick it looks like it's my lips so that's every girl's dream, I guess. I really, really like the shade and I wear this constantly when I go for walking and stuff here. Uh, I just don't like to wear makeup when I go on walks. So I just put this lipstick on and everything is fixed. So yeah, it's such a good one. So guys, yeah, that is it for today's video. I hope you found this video very, very useful, especially if you're NC40 or 42, definitely, uh, you know, consider subscribing to my channel. I make a lot of content related to um, NC40 and 42 skin tone. So if you're interested, do uh, subscribe to my channel. And if you enjoyed this video or, and found this useful, please give this video a big thumbs up and also, yeah also if you have any suggestions just leave it in the comment section down below i would love to read all of your comments and go through them and reply to them and i hit 7k subscribers like this week and uh, i don't know i don't think i deserve it because i've not been like really really consistent i, I hope i stay consistent going forward so yeah i hope you enjoyed this video i'll see you next time in another interesting video until then it's take it at bye from Janni balaji bye